Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath. In this video, we will see the solubility expressions. Mr. Bean, my favorite uh, comedy actor, world top actor also, is a king of expressions of the face. He will show maximum expressions in face, variety of expressions. It is possible for only him. Okay, Charlie Chaplin is also there, one of the best comedy actor. Okay, the top comedy actor. So, if you express something either through your face, okay, or through the writing, then only other people came to know what is there inside of you. Otherwise, they came, they don't know what is there inside you. Okay. So, suppose say there is a solution in your hand. A beaker is there, solution is there inside, and you have to tell what is the solute is there, how much solute, how much solvent you mix it together, and finally, you got a solution. If you are not expressing anything, then what the other people will think that it is simply a, they will think it is a water or some chemical like that, they will think. You have to express. There is a different possibilities are there in solubility expression. What are that possibility expression? Okay, now we will see. All these are the emojis we are using regularly in our WhatsApp or charting. Okay, we are expressing because uh, your friend is somewhere, you are here and you want to express. You cannot show your face and you cannot tell uh, what is inside in words. Instead of that, it is better to use various uh, expressions, short cut method to tell you what, how are you, where are you, like that. It is very easy thing. Now, see here. Solubility also you can express in a different ways. Seven methods are there. Concentration expressions, percentage, weight by volume. Concentration expressions, percentage, weight by weights. Concentration expression, percentage, volume by volume. Now first we will see what is this weight by volume, weight by weight, volume by volume. Later, we will see what is the percentage, why we are adding a percentage. And mole fractions, fourth one. Molarity, molality, normality. These are the seven, five plus two. Seven methods are there. You can express seven methods, your solution. This is the physical pharmacy, first unit syllabus. Solubility of drugs. Name of the topic, name of the unit is solubility of drugs. It is a big pair of solubility expressions, mechanism of solute solvent interactions, ideal solubility parameters, solvation and association, quantitative approach to the factors, dash, 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 a big uh, one para is there. Our video, we will concentrate now, today, we will complete uh, solubility expressions only. See, we know that very well. Solute, if you mix with the solvent, you will get a solution. That we know very well. Generally, solute is very less quantity. Solvent is heavy quantity, generally. Okay. And finally, you will get a solution. We cannot see the solute directly here because solid particle is become solubilized. There is a change of phase. Solid phase converted into a completely liquid phase. You cannot see that. You cannot see the solute as such in the solution, but solute is there always. Now, this solution, you have to express how much weight, see how uh, you have to express in different ways. For example, say solute, I have weight, how much weight? And I am not bothering much about the solvent. And the finally solution I got and I measured in the volume. This is the measuring jar. Okay. So, now I will express weight, how much weight of the solute, how much volume of the solution, not the solvent. Keep in your mind, very important one. So expression is weight by volume. Okay, another expression we will go. Solute, I will measure the weight. So, solution also, solution also, I will measure only the weight. I don't want the measuring cylinder and all. Here I will go for weight, weight only. I will wait how much wall, uh, how much uh, uh, solution is there, okay? And I will express in weight by weight. 
this is also possible keep in your mind another expression solute to i don't go for weighing i don't want weighing mission i will use only the measuring jar solute i will take and i will the powder i will keep in the volume that is measuring jar and i will measure the volume 1 ml or 2 ml or 3 ml how much it came the solute i will measure solution also i will measure only in the volumetric flask only so if i do like this then i will express in the volume by volume both are volumes very simple keep in your mind these are the possibilities so for what we saw weight solute solution is volume expression weight by volume volume by weight is not possible no expression please forget it okay you tell that strongly volume by weight is not possible weight by volume is possible weight by weight is possible volume by volume is possible that's it three possibilities are there now we will come to the percentage why we are using the percentage symbol now you come to the first one percentage weight by volume weight by volume you know just now we saw what is the percentage see percentage when the come into the picture when it comes into the film you have to keep in your mind percentage grams per 100 ml this this is very very important percentage grams per 100 ml very important you put a frame on that daily you practice percentage means grams per 100 ml see here i will show the example 3 grams of solute i may, i took i made a quantity sufficient of the solvent and finally i made a 100 ml of the solution and now how much is there 3 percentage it is grams it is 100 ml so 3 percentage weight by volume now i have a, i will give you a problem 0.01 kg quantity sufficient 1 liter i made how much concentration is there first what you have to do kg you have to convert into grams we want the grams per 100 ml only convert into grams this you convert into ml see here 1 liter 1000 ml we know the 1000 ml we want for 100 ml only exactly so 100 ml you take so kg is means 10 grams 1000 ml consists of 10 grams 100 ml consists of how much you calculate so divided by 10 here also divided by 10 1 gram of solute present in the 100 ml so 1% weight by volume see how simple it is grams per 100 ml is the key points percentage weight by weight grams grams per 100 grams see 2 grams of solute i took finally i made a 100 gram of solution 2 percentage now this see the problem 0.03 kg 1.5 kg how to convert kg convert into 30 grams 1.5 kg is nothing but 1500 gram and you divide with the 50 here so that you will get 100 grams how much it consists of divided by 15 2 grams so 2 percentage directly you can write 2 percentage weight by weight final units keep in your mind grams per 100 grams there okay grams per 100 ml now volume by volume ml per 100 ml the same story see here 4 ml i measured this one solute in a measuring jar i made finally 100 ml so 4% volume by volume 0.02 liters you convert into 20 uh, ml 20 ml here 1 liter you convert into 1000 ml that's it 1000 ml you have to convert into again for 100 ml how much you have to calculate because standard is 100 ml here ml is there 
okay so finally how much i got 2% volume by volume you can practice all these things right very simple now the three cases are gone okay you come to the fourth expression mole fraction so mole fraction is very easy you take this example in a classroom there was a boys are 30 girls are 80 total members automatically 110 now i will calculate what is the boys fraction see here boys fraction is equal to number of boys divided by total total strength 110 0.27 boys fraction girls fraction 80 divided by 110 total number of girls divided by 110 girls fraction boys fraction plus girls fraction is equal to 1 same passion solute solvent total okay yeah he see here in the mole fraction solute we want the moles only we don't want the kg we don't want the volume weight nothing everything you just leave aside from your brain in mole fraction we want the solute in moles solvent in moles solution in moles now you calculate mole fraction of the solute is equal to moles of the solute divided by total total moles of the solution that's it and moles of the solvent is equal to moles of the solvent divided by total mass of total moles of the solution okay next finally you add both mole fraction of solute mole fraction of solvent definitely it must equal to 1 that's it now you come to the molarity molarity it is always indicated by the capital m that is very very important capital m molarity is equal to moles of the solute see here solute only moles divided by liters of the solution see here liters of the solution see in molarity we want only the solute in moles kg volume weight nothing you just chhod do we don't want the moles of the solvent also don't want and also we don't want the moles of the solution also no i want the solution in liter only that's it. see the formula m is equal to n n is nothing but number of the moles of the solute divided by vs volume of the solution in liters only 1 liter or 2 liter or 3 liter like that see here that's why here i have mentioned in liters only if you want to convert it into ml if you are writing in a ml you use the thousand formula here that's it so that automatically you will get what is the molarity right and n is nothing but number of the moles of the solute that is equal to w divided by gmm gross molecular mass of the solute w is equal to weight of the solute that's it we never bother about remaining thing molality indicated by the small m okay same thing here also molality is equal to moles of the solute see i want only moles of the solute divided by kg of the solvent the solvent i have to mention in kg weight we never bother about moles of solvent moles of solution we never bother about uh, volume either in 1 liter 2 liter nothing we are bothering only about the solvent you have to mention in kg solvent see molality n is equal to number of the moles of the solute divided by ws weight of the solvent weight of the solvent okay and this is common as usual n is equal to w by gn the remaining thing everything is same normality number of the moles equivalents that is gram equivalent weight see here solute we want only gram equivalent weights and solution liters only we do we are not bothering about the solvent so n is equal to 
gram equivalent weight of the solute divided by volume of the solution in the liters only see here if you want to convert in ml you have to use a thousand equivalent weight formula molar mass divided by n that's it okay right so uh, you practice these things uh, repeat the video rewind the video and you clear up all your doubts very easy expression very simple also okay and thank you thank you for watching in the playlist i have kept all in a subject wise you click on my playlists right okay